It's the daily update for Wednesday, the 29th of May. Over the past few days on these daily updates, I've explained that I will be, slowly but surely, unraveling by popular request the auction purchase process. So what I want to do today is just start with how we find properties in our area that are in auction. Now, first of all, there is a national database of property auctions and most auction houses are on this. It's called the Essential Information Group, EIG Property UK. So that's EIG Property UK. If you have a look on this database, you can search for properties in your local area, irrespective of the auction houses that they're in. You can also look at your local auction houses because they're the best stop for what will be available locally to you. Here in South East Wales, the major auction houses are Sage & Co Auctions, Auction House Wales, Paul Fosh Auctions and Seal & Co Auctions. So these are the four main players here. Now, why look on the EI Group database? Well, it's this simple. Quite often, a property that's in our target area can be placed in an auction many, many miles away. If it's a corporate sale, for example, sometimes they have their chosen auction house. So it's, it's not unusual for a property in South Wales to be, for example, in the Barnard Marcus property auction in London. Usually very difficult to find. If you use the resource of EI Group, you'll be able to find and identify these properties in your key area. So the second thing which you need to do is to go online and look at what's available in your area. What fits with your particular strategy? Now, let's just say that you're looking for two and three bedroom terraced houses in the South East Wales region. Have a look down the auction listings. Have a look at properties that suit your criteria and click on the link. When you click on that link, it'll bring up a whole host of information. There'll be pictures, floor plans, videos, all the information about the property. Plus there will also be, which is really important, a legal pack on there as well. Sometimes if it's new to auction, you may have to wait a few days or weeks for the legal pack to appear. But by simply registering, and it's entirely free of charge, you can download all the prescribed legal information to do with that particular lot. It's as though as if we're buying a house, our solicitor in the purchase process will go through all of the legal documents. In an auction, because you have to make a decision very quickly, the seller solicitor will prepare all of this for you, even though the winning bidder quite often has to pay for it. So I would urge you to find specific properties that match your criteria in your area by using the aforementioned resources. Have a look at these properties online. Have a look at the pictures. Have a look at the description. And indeed, have a look at the legal pack. Once we've had a look at this, our next stage is to book a viewing. Now, sometimes they will do bespoke viewings, but more often than not, they will have specific viewing days and times for that particular lot. So you'll have to turn up on a day and time when quite possibly, if it's a popular lot, there could be many other people viewing that property as well. But in a nutshell, before the auction starts, we've got the opportunity to have a look at the details of the property, the legal information, and we have the opportunity to do a full appraisal on that particular property. So to get things going, I would urge you to have a look on the EI Group website and also the local auction websites, find your lot, have a look at it, tune back in here over the coming days where I'll be going through the next stages of the auction purchase process. If you found that useful and you're enjoying the school platform, please tell your friends. There's a link in the comments below that you can send to them and give them the wonderful gift of being able to join this wonderful resource and the community that surrounds it entirely free of charge. Thank you very much.